are with Representative Sharon Wiley from America's Vancouver, the 49th District. Welcome to the 2022 session. It's a short one and you have a big long list of things. Can you talk to us a little bit about your priorities? Well, a lot of my biggest priorities got done last year, but one of the biggest this year for all of us is to make sure that the work we did on police accountability and public safety is improved because there are concerns and those concerns will be addressed. So that's a very big priority. And of course, getting through the pandemic is a priority. We have a groundbreaking long-term care bill, which we are needing to vote to delay in order to make sure that it works the way intended. This is going to be a need that other states will also address. We're the first. And so we have a big obligation to make sure we do it right. We do it right from the very beginning. So those are two things. One of my biggest responsibilities is doing both a supplemental transportation budget, which we have to do to adjust to a lot of the revenue shortfalls and the federal partnership and all the things that are going to put people back to work and make sure our state keeps moving. But we're also continuing work to develop a long-term transportation package that takes care of our entire state's needs. We have a lot of infrastructure needs, a lot to do, and those two things take up a lot of my time. And with 60 days only, it's going to be tight. Now, originally, the plan, I think, was to have a hybrid session, but then things changed? That's right. I had really looked forward to at least being in Olympia part of the time, but to be safe and take care of everybody and keep on track, we have to be cautious. And so I'm working from home until things change. The good part of this is that people can go online and we have many, many more citizens who can't drive to Olympia during session to testify, testify and weigh in on a lot of the issues we dealt with. So we heard from many more members of the public. I think that we're gonna do everything we can to continue that even when we're back to working in person.